Hello everybody and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's play some more Total War Warhammer as the Bloody Hands Savage Orc Tribe. Okay, so it's turn 142 and we are about to take Krakazul. We've already taken Dragon Arrakis. We have um, a lot of money. We have a lot of income so far. Things are looking okay. We've got some dwarves here. We want to kill these guys and actually the Chaos are harassing the dwarves in the north. So while we have some reprieve, while the Chaos are going to be giving us a little bit of destruction in the north. We're going to see if we can actually attack the Chaos, this Bjornling army here. See what we can do. Let's go ahead and turn here. I want to see what these Chaos do. I want to see where they go. The dwarves look pretty busy with the Chaos, so um, it'd be nice if we're able to take out one of these, uh, these Chaos armies. There they go. Spike Peak can be upgraded. Um, 3200 to upgrade another building slot. I think I'm going to hold off on here for now because we might need the money elsewhere very soon. Uh, Ungram Iron Fist is making things difficult. He's probably coming around here. So let's take a look here at this uh, this Chaos Army. He's going, I think, for Iron Rock. We're fortifying Dog Karaz. Corruption's going to get kind of bad in some of these areas, actually. So the real question is, is it worth attacking this army? Like, do I want to declare war on the, on the Chaos? And in fact, we're already at War with the Warriors of Chaos. The Dwarves are going to be going around. They're going to be gone pretty soon. We're actually strength rating of two. The Chaos, I think, are actually number one. Yes, they are. And where are they? I actually don't know where the Chaos are at the moment. And to be honest, I don't really want to find out. Arcan the Ever Chosen, he's going to go crazy. Yeah, he's going to kill us all. So the Bjornling have three. Their strength rating of three. And I already know they have two armies here near me. So honestly, taking them out right now is is probably the best thing to do. Yeah, so I think we are going to attack this some bitch. Here we go. Holy shit, we will completely destroy this guy. Do I want to fight this battle? No. I actually just use auto resolve. We're going to completely kill this guy. Units replenished. Uh, either that or the money. Do we need? Do we need the uh, the fightiness? Perhaps. XP gain. Damn, we destroy this force. Don't need the money, actually. I'm going to go ahead and just, yeah, we'll just eat him. Hmm. Okay, so we're at war with the Bjornling now. That army's probably going to be destroyed, hopefully. I'm hoping, anyway. Um, anything else we want to do? We might actually seriously have to start considering fortifying this, uh, this Karakai Peaks here. Karakai's Gaul. We want to go for Karakai's Gaul sometime soon. There's a massive garrison there. It's going to be very difficult to take out. In fact, actually, I think I will upgrade this. Let's come down here. We're going to garrison. Um, well, we're different. we want to keep this, you know, we want to keep the Great Green Prophet nearby our territories in the north. Let's see what happens here. Crooked Moon. Crooked Moon are actually pretty powerful. It might not be a bad idea to have them as a friend for some time. Warriors of Chaos. Tonia, the Border Princes, the Bjornling. Ooh, there they go. And the Bog. Better bowstrings? Sounds good to me. Uh, actually, let's, let's check out some of these structures. I didn't really mean to just flip through these so quickly. We're making pretty decent income with uh, three full stacks right now. I mean, considering the stacks are not of the best quality ever, we're not doing too bad. This, this little bastard... He's just gonna pop in and out, isn't he? I'm never gonna catch this guy. Hmm. Alright, so be it. Let's go ahead and garrison Belias Sorrow. There's not really a need to catch him at the moment. It'd be nice, but. But if I don't, it's fine. Let's go ahead and kill this guy. Excellent. We've got some replenishment here. Nice. Recruitment cost minus 50% for seven joke units. Yes. Excellent. Okay, so. Should I start capturing stuff in Black Crag? The real question is, can I hold it? Can I keep the territory? Right? Like, that's that's a good question to ask when you start taking territory. Real savage boys. 
There we go. And like I'm leaning towards a yes, but that's not like a certainty. So what I'm gonna say is while I have this distraction here in the north, I'm just gonna wait for a second. Let's just let's just pause. There's always three methods of attack. Or there's always three methods of military strategy. Attack, defend, or do nothing. So you gotta you gotta be able to pick which one when appropriate. I might want to uh, fortify Galbaraz with a decent garrison. I'm not sure though. I've been meaning to upgrade this place for a while. I think I might as well just do it. Get an extra building slot. And I mean, it's it's worth it, right? It's it's worth it. So let's do that. And I think I'm gonna end the turn there. I might go for Iron Rock here pretty soon. If I can take Karakazul sometime in the near future, that'd be really nice. That'd be super helpful. Karakate Peaks could also be upgraded. Finally, thank you. Thank you, Wog. I've been waiting for this for some time now. Ransom the captives? Sure, why not? Excellent. So now we can go for Black Rag and Iron Rock. We can move our army north. That's what we're going to do. We even got a Wog. Very nice. We even completed a quest. Bonewood Step. Excuse me, Bonewood Staff. Well, isn't that nice? Let's give him better... Uh, how about Missile Inventory? Yeah, so that's this guy that was at Karakazul. We also got some buildings constructed, actually. Morzog's Burrows here in Dot Karaz. We're going to want better garrison structure, growth. And how about some income? Either that or obedience. Ooh, that's a hard one. Uh, income or obedience? I'm actually going to go for, I think, the income for now. Okay, so we've kind of exhausted a little bit of our treasury here. Just kind of a shame. We're going to go here for crack eight peaks. Let's go ahead and... Do we need this here in Desolation of the Gash? I don't think so. I think I might get here instead. I'm probably going to get, I think, a Shaman's Hut and a Troll Cave. Yeah, because this enables us to get Night Goblin Shamans and Orc Shamans. As well as uh, Trolls and Giants. That would be nice here. It's nice that they leveled up Krakazul all the way for us. That's That's pretty generous of them. How do we get here? What's the quickest way? Can I use the underpass? I might not be able to. I actually don't think I can. Uh, well, maybe. Let's go for here. We might be able to intercept that guy, actually. Oh. Well, a muster fields and a savage or gathering here might not be a bad idea. There's literally nothing else we can build here? What's the special resource? Salt. Salt. All right, fine. I guess if it's already built, might as well just get like a savage or gathering or something. Uh, a wolf den, maybe for an Ragnarok spider at some point in the near future. We're not going to be recruiting many savage orcs, I don't think, out of this location. I'll go for the wolf den then. Fine, sure. That's that's fine. We're gonna, we're gonna move these guys up north to Black Crag. This guy, I want you to attack. Either Barag Dow is back, because that's that army right there. Um, yeah, that would be a good target, wouldn't it? Have this guy go for Iron Rock. And have this guy go for Barag Dow is back. Although I don't want to occupy it right now. That's not what I want to do. I could just sack it again, possibly. It's probably been rebuilt by now, right? Who's this? This is uh, Vikram the Kin Lord. He's a level 11. Miners, Longbeards, a Grumbling Guard, Thunderers, Bolt Throwers, Quarlers. Uh, yeah, why don't we do, why don't we attack that? Let's go ahead and blow that shit up. We can sack it. I will sack it, and then we'll, we'll leave. We'll come back a little later, I think. Excellent. Already friendly terrain. We get excellent replenishment here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love it. Okay. Let's go ahead and turn there. So we got some money. That's really, really nice. We don't want the income extortion rate. 
I don't think there's any need to upgrade that military production building there for now. I think we'll be just fine. Yay, an underway interception. Let's go and kill the crap out of this guy. Excellent, excellent. Guys, we have seriously turned this campaign around. We have seriously turned it around now. We are in the clear to drive out the dwarves and just start killing the shit out of everybody, including the chaos. They're all going to die. They're all going to die right now. Let us safeguard. We have a battle of Black Crag. We have a decisive victory. A battle of Black Crag. That doesn't make sense. I didn't attack Black Crag. Got some idols over here. Let's get a lot of this good stuff. Excellent, excellent. Income is beautiful now. I am loving this. Let's go ahead and move. We'll, we'll march by land. Uh, well, this guy could use the underpass if he wanted to. We can um, start sieging down Black Crag here pretty soon. We will liberate it from the dwarves. Yeah. So this is going to be nice. So we're going to be able to march on the Black Crag and just kind of sit there for a while. In fact, I might even just move this army out somewhere over here. And this guy is going to be the one to siege it down. This guy sieged down Iron Rock. The Bjornlings are here. What are they up to? Bjornlings have another army right there. Where the hell? Wait a minute. Where did this army come from, dude? Are you telling me they sailed in here from somewhere? Black Gulf is contested. Why is it contested? That doesn't make sense. Black Gulf. This is the Black Gulf. Contested Brackvar. Hmm. I can attack those Bjornlings. There was actually a battle Brag that was mag on turn 11. Oh, that was a long time ago. Is it worth attacking this guy? In fact, it might be. But no, I think we will, we will replenish for now. We're going to take Iron Rock and Black Crag very, very soon. We have 3,200 in income. Very nice. That's beautiful. The Ornlings just took Brag Dawa's bag. Under the moon, Dark Moon's glare. Do nothing or get some Warf River. Yeah, sure. 1,500 for some Warf River sounds good to me. I don't have a problem with that. Let's go ahead and get some... Income. We need obedience. Not exactly. Uh, there's not even that much corruption here. I can go for the growth. That's fine. I don't. I don't think we need the obedience right now, though. This very second. Some green skin troops around here. That worries me. No. Who needs uh, what's up with the wog here? Black crag. Wow, we can actually we'll win that pretty easily. <laughs> So that means that we got the wog here. Why don't you go for Greg drawn, huh? Or actually, maybe we'll, yeah, we'll actually just clear your wog target. This guy can go, um, I think, north. You're going to go north. We're going to start taking Brackvar, Varenka Hills, and Bragdawa's Bag here pretty soon. Let's go and advance into Bragdawa's Bag against this scaling army. Or not, not scaling, they're Bjornlings. Yeah, not scaling. The Norska, you know what I'm talking about. Damn. We destroyed those guys. We destroyed those guys. No casualties whatsoever. We didn't take any casualties. Holy shit. 16% replenishment of casualties. Oh my god. That is beautiful. This man is this 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 great green prophet here. This guy's a beautiful man. He's beautiful. Let's go for air we go. Iron Rock, Black Crag. In fact, take Black Crag. Can we take it right now? Yes, we can. Loot and occupy, occupy. I think we're gonna go. We're gonna go. Oh my god, twenty thousand. That's really tempting. Um, loot and occupy for the eleven thousand. We have fifteen thousand right now. Uh, I'm gonna go for the occupy. I'm sorry, I can't. I can't loot my fellow green skin locations. Holy shit! This place is super rich. What the growth and the income. Okay, you know what I think we will do here pretty soon is make our way south with these two armies to attack Karaka's goal and take out the Greenskins down there. We're going to go to war with them, I think. 
Yeah, that sounds like a good thing to do. We'll take Iron Rock as well. Make sure Iron Rock is under our command. Iron Rock and Karag Drawn. This guy will stay up here just to kind of guard the frontier for a while. Send the turn there. Battle of Iron Rock was a close defeat for my Wog army. Screw you, Cl Crooked Moon. I don't want you here. What makes you think I want your ass here? Let's upgrade some stuff, get some resources going. Probably shiny stuff. Um, I'm going to go for... I think anything that's, that's income related. I don't think we're going to work on anything with growth for a while. I don't really need the growth. We have pretty natural growth across most of our uh, most of our areas. My, you know, my structures and such. Settlements. That's what I'm talking about. Totem poles here. Oh, this wolf den possibly. Idols and black crag. Let's go for that. Let's go ahead and occupy Iron Rock. Should do just fine as an arm resolve. It was a close victory, but it was a victory nonetheless. Um, we'll, go, we'll go ahead and peacefully occupy the place. Um, I might get actually a garrison structure either here or at Craig Drawn. Ooh, there's already a garrison structure there. I'll go ahead and just keep it. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. It just covers this pass, you know? It just there's It's nice having defensible structures here. Let's go and retreat back to friendly terrain here. I'm going to hang out here in friendly terrain for just a little bit. Here there is... Um, this is Chaos Corruption. It's a Chaos Altar because it was raised. It's beautiful, beautiful graphics. Wow. In fact, I might even send Warzog the Great Green Prophet himself to go take out Krag Asgall. Holy shit. Black Orcs, uh, Orc Big Guns, Night Goblins. Oh, yeah. Actually, you know what? I think I will do that. Yeah, let's actually get him down here. We're going to send in... Um, we're going to send in uh, Wurzog to Great Green Prophet. Crack 8 Peaks can be upgraded. Um, we have two armies here, Iron Rock and Black Crag. We should be fine with those armies, to be honest. I think we'll be okay. I don't think we have too much to worry about. For now, anyway. Maybe a little later. Probably dealing with some more stuff. Spite Peak. I could get some Obedience. I'm actually going to upgrade Crack 8 Peaks. Getting a fighting pit, and then maybe, um, well, ah, it's 6,000 for that Savage Orc host. This is 4,000 here. Maybe I'll hold off. Dog Karaz has some unrest issues. So if we take Brag Dawa's bag here pretty soon, we're going to want to fortify that as well as get some, um, some obedience structures, I think. The Bjornling are still at Brack Bar. They might not even win. We're in it for the long haul. Varenka Hills is definitely going to be a target. You know, the vampire counts are actually still out here. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and take a break here. And uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you, so much for watching. Uh, thank you so much for watching, as always. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. I'm actually really enjoying this campaign. Bloody hands are pretty cool. They're very strong. Very, very powerful. All right, guys. I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much.